Hey guys, welcome to As Seen in the South. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we normally do. I'm going to share with you some photos that I've taken over the years that have a certain meaning to me and they kind of remind me of where I am in my life and, and they encourage me in my life. The whole purpose of As Seen in the South and Old Guys Photography is to share with you guys photos and places that would encourage your heart and maybe inspire you in some way. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Today's Easter is a different kind of Easter and this is a different kind of video. Well, sit back and relax. I hope you enjoy this video. So guys, in our video today, we're going to show you a few photos that mean a lot to us. And this is one of those photos. This was captured on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And it, um, it just tells us and reminds me of the hope that we have in this world. Um, it was a cloudy day, as you can tell. It had been storming earlier in the day. Up, uh, closer towards Asheville, we were riding the parkway and we came to this point and it had been cloudy and gloomy and we really weren't getting anything um, to really stop and take photos of uh, on that particular trip. And then the sun came out and it was breaking through the clouds and we pulled over and this is what we saw. The sun came charging out behind the clouds lighting up this valley and shining across the greenery. And that just speaks to me of, of hope. It reminds me that every day is a new day and there's opportunities to grow and develop. There's opportunities to help other people. There's opportunities to inspire people. And uh, that's what we try to do with our videos, and that's what we try to do with our photography, is to inspire people, to help people, and to remind people that uh, life isn't always dark. Life isn't always as bad as it seems, that there's light coming, and there's a better day coming. So when I look at this photo, I'm instantly reminded that a better day is coming. Let me show you another one. Well, this is a photo of a road in Cades Cove. In fact, this is the road that leads to Abrams Falls. I'm not sure the name of it, but I know that's the road. When you first look at this road, you think, where could that possibly lead? There's nothing down there. And you think, why even bother? But if you travel down this road and go to the end, you'll discover one of the prettiest waterfalls that can be found, in my opinion, in the Smoky Mountains, is Abrams Falls. So we use this, this to remind us and tell us, you know, that just because that doesn't seem or appear to be anything on the surface, you need to explore a little bit further because there can be something at the end of the road. You know, we say all the time in, in our videos, life is a journey. And it is, life is a journey. And sometimes that journey includes curves and it includes hills and valleys. It includes some, some dark places. Kind of like what we're going through in, today but it is a journey it has a beginning and it has an end and remember folks that we're just passing through and that's what this photo reminds me of we're just passing through and at the end there's something fabulous there's something magnificent so when I look at this I remember that my life is a journey 
that I have to choose it well, that I have to make wise choices. Sometimes I don't. And then along the way, I got to learn to enjoy the ride. That's why we say that every video. Life is a journey. Choose it well. Enjoy the ride. Let's look at another photo. When I look at this photo, at first, first glance, it, it, it seems to be just leaves, leaves on a, on a bridge. This was a little footbridge that we came across on one of the trails. And what's significant to me is this. When I look at that, I see ordinary leaves, dry leaves. And I, and I think, well, it's more than just something ordinary. It reminds me that the ordinary in our lives can be beautiful. When I walk outside and I see a buttercup, that's beautiful. When I see a dogwood tree blooming, that's beautiful. It's an ordinary tree, it's an ordinary flower, but it's beautiful. Here are simple leaves. Autumn scene, but it's beautiful. Ordinary things in life are there for a reason. Don't get so busy with your life that you fail to see what's right in front of you. That's what this is about. The ordinary is beautiful. Let's look at another. Well guys, this, this photo was taken on the um, Roaring Fork uh, Nature Road uh, right outside of Gatlinburg. We pulled over and we walked over to, to the little creek and the way the shadows were forming and the sun was coming through, the sun uh, was shining brightly on this water and the rocks on both sides were covered in shadows. And all you could really see was the light illuminating the water as it was flowing through those rocks. Well, when I look at that, I'm reminded that there are dark times and difficult times in our lives, but there's always light and that light is going to illuminate a way. That light is going to show us what can and cannot be done. Sometimes we think it's impossible, but there's a way, and there's a way. So remember that even in the darkest of times in your life, there can be light and there will be light, so don't give up. Let's check out another photo. Well, this photo, besides it's just a beautiful photo, um, Reminds me also of, of how important it is to have a solid base in your life, or a solid foundation. This is one of the most popular and one of the older lighthouses in, in uh, Portland, Maine. It's been around a long, long, long time, and it has withstood a lot of storms. Why? Because it has a solid foundation. And that's true of us. If we have a solid foundation in our lives, then we'll be able to withstand the storms that come into our lives. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's very, very difficult. And sometimes we think that we're going to be overwhelmed by the waves and we're going to succumb to the storm. But we can rest assured that as long as we have that strong foundation, that we will make it and we'll, we'll come through. And through all this coronavirus pandemic and COVID-19 and stay-at-home orders and all of that, sometimes it seems like we just not gonna make it, but we will, we will. And the order uh, to resume normal life will come and, and we'll be able to go back to our normal lives. So just base your life on that solid foundation. Well guys, the last photo that I'm gonna talk about is one that's uh, very significant to me. 
I call this photo the OK tree. Let me give you some background to it. A few years ago, um, my mom was going through uh, several different things and she had had an extended stay in the hospital and in and out a couple of times. Just wasn't doing, doing good. There were some other things going on in my life that um, wasn't um, very positive, wasn't very good. So things were kind of going down for me, just to put it that way. Anyway, one morning I took uh, Well, you know, mom's health continued to deteriorate and, and we lost mom. And that was, that was, a, that was a blow. That, uh, I don't know if you've ever lost a parent, but that's a difficult thing. A few days after mom's death, uh, about a week, about a week later, I took Vicki to work one morning and it was so foggy. And it was hard to see. She didn't want to drive and I didn't really want to drive her, but I, I took her to work that morning. And on the way back, I was passing the lake, over the lake, and um, I just happened to look to my left, and I saw this tree. And then what, what really struck me about the tree was the color in it. And it, it was just mesmerizing. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it almost looked like the fiery bush, you know, the burning bush that Moses encountered. But it, it, it was really special. And so... I pulled over and I had my camera with me and I got out and I started taking some photos of this of this particular tree. Now this is an old version of it, old painting version. Um, well, a couple days passed and so I uploaded the photos onto my computer and I got to looking at it and I noticed the reflection of the tree but I also noticed the reflection of a couple sticks in the water. And those sticks fell out the word, okay. And to me, it was as if I was getting a message that my life was gonna be okay. Yeah, I was going through some tough times, difficult times and hurting, but I was gonna be okay. And so folks, every time I look at this photo, in fact, I have a, I have it here on my desk and I have it in a couple other places. But every time I look at this photo, I immediately think about my mama. I immediately think about how life is gonna be okay. No matter what happens, life is gonna be okay. Hey guys, that kind of does it for our video today. I did include some more um, <clears throat> photos in the video that I didn't talk about. I hope all of these photos will encourage you and, and maybe inspire you a little bit and maybe they'll speak to your heart and your soul. Well, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell and that by doing that, you'll get more videos like this and like some of our outdoor videos and you'll also be alerted when we upload a new video. If you like this video today, give it a thumbs up. Tell someone about it. And I hope that, that today's been a great day for you. Even though it's not the typical Easter day, I hope it was a great day for you. Well, I'll see you next time. And remember, life is a journey. Choose it well and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching.